Hello, in this video I want to discuss the working of a mechanism on a plate and it's the same principle that is used in MEMS. So MEMS are micro electromechanical systems and they are used in a lot of products now these days like for example airbags and projectors. So in projectors the light is blocked by MEMS that are moving at a very high speed because you can, you can make these uh, constructions very small by just etching them like you etch microchips for a computer. So I'm gonna analyze this with help of SOLIDWORKS simulation. I've got the model open over here. As you can see, I just uh, used an image of a book. If I turn it around, you see here, I used this book, it's a Dutch book. Um, this is the front of the book, and I recreated the, the model just by sketching straight over it. So if you wanna see how I've done that, you can download this model on GrabCAD I've got to stand and open over here. So if you search GrabCAD, you, you create a login and you search GrabCAD for mechanism on a plate, you'll then find uh, this model and you can download it for yourself with already uh, the software simulation setup that I'm going to sh show later on. So here you see some images of MEMS. You can see that these are high tech examples, especially compared to the simple example that, uh, that I'm showing. But uh, you can create very complex, very useful structures, as you can see over here with some websites that I searched for MEMS. So it would be nice to analyze this as well. Maybe I'm going to do that later on, not at this moment yet. And especially on Pinterest, uh, I wasn't a member of P Pinterest yet, but when I searched for MEMS, there were a lot of results on Pinterest and, and they didn't allow me to, to look it more until I logged in so I created a logged in a login for it as you can see they've got very high-tech images on MEMS on, on Pinterest so now I'm gonna analyze this file as I mentioned you can just download it I've, I've created two studies for it you'll need SOLIDWORKS premium to be able to do the same as I'm doing over here so I, I analyzed it with help of shell elements as you can see here I, I can change the settings and then show uh, let me see the mesh here I created uh, a shell mesh so with triangles it's a good result but I think the solid mesh just looks a little bit nicer so that's what I'm going to show you right now uh, here you can see the working principle behind this mechanism on a plate so if I animate this one uh, now it's creating five frames I can create a little bit more so it looks a bit nicer so 15 so if I if I sh analyze this, if I run the simulation, then I can see the exact working principle behind this. So it's a a mechanism that is moving, and every every notch over here you can see as a hinge. So uh, what what is created here is a parallel movement of these plates. So you could use that, for example, to to hold something in a tiny device. So for for medical applications, that could could be useful. And if you wanted to move horizontal and vertical, you, you might want to mirror the, the construction that you see over here. So it can only move in a just a horizontal direction, uh, sorry, just a vertical direction. So if I apply a force over here, which I've done, then the, the gate here opens. And when I, uh, I look now at the displacement results, I can also look at the stress results. Then you can see exactly where the hinges are. So everywhere where you see the stress concentrations that is actually a hinge in this situation you can see it as a hinge and everything that is between those hinges you can see as a, a solid bar so what you've created here is with a very simple operation just cutting you can analyze a mechanism you could do it a, a bit easier as well or a bit easier i shouldn't say that uh, i can show you over here I've created this model in paper just by cutting it with help of a, a sharp knife and I found out later on that you might want to be doing this with a perforator but then I was already uh, ready with the cutting by knife so now I can test this model here in paper as well so I apply a force over here because but because it's paper I have to hold it over there and you can see here it moves as well of course it's a lot more amateuristic but if you don't have a, a FEM software package you might want to test it like this you might want to use a bit stronger paper than this as you can see but uh, already here you can see the working of the the same movement of the mechanism in the plate so 
just by simply cutting it out of paper you can already test it uh, I would recommend actually using uh, the finite element method actually when you get a bit used to how to creating this so you, you, as mentioned you can download it from GrabCal, GrabCat so if you get used to how to create this uh, and I, I've shown that here in the feature tree then it's actually faster just to uh, trace and draw it in SOLIDWORKS than it is to cut it out of paper I can tell that out of experience so that's actually what I wanted to show I, I had a lot of colleagues who were interested in, in uh, what I was doing when I was analyzing this construction so I thought might be useful to create a, a YouTube video of it so that, that was what I wanted to, to show you thanks for watching